Hi guys, so this is a really quick pin-up hairstyle tutorial. If you'd like to see how I did this makeup, there'll be a link at the bottom of my menu bar on the side and also in the description. But otherwise, to learn how to do this hair, just keep watching. Luna shows you how to do it. So firstly, I'm just going to brush my hair, get rid of any knots, part my hair where I'd like it to be parted. Hello, I'm Jessica Rabbit. And what I'm going to do is section half of my hair up and half of it down. Simply just go putting my thumbs above my ears and grabbing that half. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a straightener to curl my hair. Oh, the irony. <laughs> I have a video on how to do these curls and I'll link that on the screen now but I'll just show you a couple. Like so. When you get close to the face, curl away from the face. So take it this way. If anyone's wondering what hair straightener this is, it's actually just a Vidal Sassoon one, I believe. Yes. Literally was like 50 bucks and my GHD broke, so this is doing a great job for now. Okay, so I'm going to just really loosely tie that back. And now we're going to go start working on the top half. Basically what we need to do is separate the fringe or bangs. Now if you've got long ones like I do, perfect because this is going to work great. If you've got a short fringe slash bangs then keep it straight um, and just keep some long sections of hair that we can actually twirl and pin up. So we're going to push the crown of the head back, Come back to me and grab all of this. We used to clip it. Clip it good. Same deal with this side. So what we want to do is create this sort of like bulbasaur. Yep, that's the word I'm going to use to describe this, a bulbasaur. <laughs> um, so we're going to half that again. We take the top half and we're going to flip it down the front and keep it apart. Then we're going to tease the second half. So, grabbing all that hair that we just separated, we're going to create our Bulbasaur. Grabbing sections at a time and literally teasing it or back combing it. I'm using this brush at the moment because I can't find any other brushes, so don't pick on it. This is creating a base for the rest of the hair to sit on and it'll give it lift and give that a quick spray just a little light one now you're gonna need buttloads of bobby pins okay I think you call them curvy grips in the UK I don't know what you call them in the US but I call them bobby pins and creating like this little nest and I normally just twist it and push it up like that now this is hard because I got lipstick on. Normally you do the hair first, then the makeup, but I didn't want to do the hair without the makeup for some reason for this tutorial. Just put shitloads of bobby pins in to secure it. We've just got like a bit of straight hair that I'm going to quickly curl. Ouch! Bernie's hands! Bernie's hands! Now we're going to take the hair that we put aside at the start. Now we're just going to brush that over the top. 
What about nest? Same process, twist it, pop it up like that, and bobby pin it down. Just make sure it's nice and even. And then we will spray it. Once again, curl the straight bits. Okay, so now we're gonna take this little bit. What we're gonna do is essentially create little twists here maybe one here that sort of sit on the head with a cute little curl. In order to do that you need to first curl the section of hair. We want to curl it away from the head. So in this direction. Okay so we've got this beautiful curl. What we want to do is scoop it up so it makes a little circle literally just grabbing it like that look at that instant circle no fuss and what you want to do is just sit it flat against your head grab a bobby pin to secure it there secure it it doesn't necessarily have to look amazing at this stage, we're just trying to secure it there. Okay, so look at that. Now all you've got to do is just think about where you want your curls to sit. So before we do this last one, um, I am going to fix this one up and also this one and this one will sit over the top overlapping that one. To be honest, with red hair you are not going to be able to hide bobby pins because they don't make bobby pins in red that I have found. So I am just embracing these bobby pins. I don't care about this thing going on because I'm going to cover it anyway. Now you can attach little flowers and stuff like that if you want to hide these bobby pins. I'm not going to bother. I kind of think the bobby pins look kind of cool, but that's just me. So. Take out the rest of your hair. Now you can go over all the curls that you did before just to make sure they're nice and bouncy. Then you can pull the hair to one side. You can attach a flower on either side if you like. So this is the finished hair style. It's just a really quick one. Um, I hope you liked it. Uh, leave requests for me down below. Don't forget if you want to learn how to do this makeup, there's a link over here and also down below. Um, otherwise, I'll see you next time. Give the fuck about a first class seat. We all end up out of each other's feet. I have returned. Ow! That one. So. Ow. <laughs> hurt myself.